Well, welcome to this uh, great event today. We're really excited to uh, make this announcement and in introduce a couple of students who will be getting a scholarship uh, this coming year. And so grateful to have you all here. My name is Kelly Danfus, and I'm the chancellor here at Arkansas State University. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you here to the Fowler Center and to the stage of Riceland Hall as we honor the leg legacy of J.D. Kelly. We're here on the stage with one of our Steinway pianos, which is beautiful, by the way, and probably sounds even better. Uh, maybe we have a, a song later on. I'm not sure if we have a little piano playing going on. Uh, because this is where Dr. Kelly and so many of his students performed over the years. For those of you who are watching who may not be familiar with Dr. Kelly, he joined Arkansas State in 1975 as a music instructor and retired in 1998 as a full professor. So he served a long and and a wonderful career here at Arkansas State. He was an emeritus professor, which is the highest honor we can provide to our retired faculty members, and, and well into his 80s, continued to, to conduct private lessons, judge events, and perform in our area. He was a member of the Arkansas State University Legacy Society, and it is his planned gift to Arkansas State that we will celebrate here today. Dr. Kelly once said that his greatest achievement while teaching was just seeing his students succeed, and his gift will ensure that that will continue here at Arkansas State through the years. Today, it's our great honor to fulfill Dr. Kelly's wishes by bestowing the first John D. Kelly scholarships. But before we make that announcement, I want to introduce his friend, Bernard Rayleigh, who will say a few words about Dr. Kelly. Bernard is over here, thank you. Welcome to the podium. Thank you so much, thank you. I'm so glad you said all that stuff about Dr. Kelly, because whenever they asked me to come up here to speak, I thought, I don't know all the specifics, which you just talked about. Thank you so much. I start, I've known Dr. Kelly since um, the 70s, and I took piano from him for many years, and we developed a, a friendship, and in the last five years, you know, I. Uh, hooked up with Dr. Kelly and we would have coffee a lot at Starbucks. So the relationship just grew, you know. I would take him places, uh, occasionally we go out to eat quite a bit, um, but we, we talked a lot whenever we went out. And uh, Dr. Kelly, everybody that's here knows Dr. Kelly was very opinionated. And you know, he had his opinions on everything. And when it came to ASU, he had his opinions too. But I always found at the very end of Dr. Kelly's life, he had a kinship to ASU. He really felt close. No matter what he had said, you know, or, you know, what was going on, he felt a, a sense of family with ASU. It's because he's been here so long. And uh, you're right in saying he really wanted his students to succeed. He loved his students. On the day of his death, several of his uh, students' parents stopped by, and Dr. Kelly was there, of course, but uh, he couldn't speak with him, but they spent time with him. That would have meant so much to Dr. Kelly, and we had a nice turnout for Dr. Kelly's memorial service. That He would have loved that. He liked the recognition. He just did, like everybody does. He did like it, and he wanted, he wanted people to know that he cared, and and he would want me to thank you all too. Again, thank you so much for coming today because it, he would he would have loved it. Like Miss, like Julia said, he would like this. And I said, yes, he would. He loved being being remembered. So that's all I really have. Uh, he made a difference, and we are working on his estate now. And uh, in May, we will uh, see about getting something going with that and Treble Clef Club and everybody, all of his music community will let you all know about that as soon as I know something and we, we will let you all know and so thank you all so much for everything, appreciate you. Thank you Bernard, thank you for those uh, kind words of remembrance. We gather to recognize the remarkable commitment of Dr. Kelly to music and to Arkansas State University, but also to announce how his legacy will fund the future. As a lifelong educator myself, 
I understand and appreciate Dr. Kelly's devotion to his students. Uh, I didn't have a chance to know him very well. We met a time or two, uh, I think right here in this building one time, and had a nice little conversation. He shared some of his thoughts about what was going on at Arkansas State for sure. Uh, but uh, I do know that his students really revered him, as Bernard said earlier. They, they loved him. And, and to a person have said what an impact they've had on his life. And that's, there's no greater legacy for a professor than to have students say things like that about them when they have passed. Through this most thoughtful planned gift from his estate of more than $200,000, Dr. Kelly will continue to impact the lives of music students here at Arkansas State University, and we're very grateful for that. So while he's not here, I do know he would appreciate the appreciation. So let's give him a round of applause and absentia. Now, let's get down to business. So uh, I'd like to introduce to you the first two recipients of the John D. Kelly Scholarship Awards. Holly Farah is from Marion, Arkansas, is a first year student here at Arkansas State, and Aubrey Triplett of Cottonville, Mississippi is a junior transfer student. Well, um, to begin with, it's such an honor to um, be bestowed uh, with this scholarship. Um, I never got the opportunity to meet Dr. Kelly. Um, he sadly passed before I got to meet him, but his legacy has come to me through studying with Dr. Lauren Jack Clark, and oftentimes growing up when I was taking part in piano auditions and things, he served as my virtual judge, so I was able to connect with him in that area and um, I just hope to be able to continue playing in a way that would make him proud and um, you know things like that. It's kind of the culmination of all the effort that he put into me I think being awarded this. I mean it's it's just such an honor and a blessing to be able to show everyone how much that his effort did work. 